Good evening, you guys. So, not quite sure why we're moving the meat there. Um, I am getting ready to make ribs. This will be like the second time I have ever made them. So we're going to see how this goes. So I'm going to make foil packets, and what I forgot to think of was to make them all three at once. So I needed a Dr. Pepper. I hear it's really recommended to steam your ribs, well, steam whatever. You just put a little bit in the packets of the Dr. Pepper. Well, I forgot, even though I went to the store earlier with that in mind. So I sent Anthony and Xander and they, I said, go quickly because I need you. They ended up walking. So I had to wait a little while. So I'm going to have to like change gloves and everything. And I was like slightly annoyed, but right here I am making a dry rub. It is just brown sugar, paprika, pink salt, garlic, onion, and dry mustard. I kept it really simple because like I said, this is kind of new to me. Okay, and as you can see, I am rubbing them, every little inch of them, with this rub. I am pulling off the silver skin. I swear by the time I got to the third one, I was a master at that part because before that, I was having trouble getting it off. The paper towel um, really does help get a hold of it because it is kind of slimy. And so, I meant slippery. <laughs> so, I used it, and the last one, uh, I just came off the easiest. So, I'm going to remove that from each one of them and get every little bit of this covered in the dry rub. So I've got them, you want them 
really tightly sealed. I am putting probably a fourth of a cup of Dr. Pepper. I'm tipping it so it gets evenly through those and I am crimping them down. You do not want any of the moisture to get out of it. I have my oven set to just under 300 and we are going to let them set for three hours. So while we're waiting, I am going to clean up the kitchen and some of the stuff I've been working with and I have some baked beans made down here, which I will eventually get into the oven also. I'm going to make all gratin potatoes and cornbread to go with everything. This is definitely a situation where I wish I had another oven because it would have made this easy because obviously I cannot cook the other stuff at such a low temperature. I probably could have done that with the baked beans, but I didn't. So in my baked beans, it's just the ones that you buy in the store and I add to it brown sugar, onion, bacon bits, I use the real bacon and a little bit of, I am drawing a blank, pancake syrup. It is a recipe my mom has always used and it is the one that I have always used, but over the years I have cut back on the brown sugar and the pancake syrup. So Anthony and I are going to get these dried and put up and then knock out some more. Anthony is making the cornbread for me. We are just using the Famous Dave's one, which is one that we know we like. Um, I have a recipe, but didn't feel like going to that much trouble. There's nothing wrong with using boxed anything sometimes. We don't do it very often. But this was definitely one of those days where I felt a little rushed, and so... I opted out of making everything homemade.
So we are at the two and a half mark, and I'm going to check them. So what you're supposed to do is pull them up and try to pull or twist a bone. If it doesn't twist, then it isn't done. And so these will go in for another half an hour, which was perfect. So three hours all together. So I have decided I am going to disintegrate this pouch on accident, but I am going to make my own barbecue sauce. So what I'm going to do is while these are cooling so I can handle them a little better and they're not just falling apart so much, I'm going to make my own barbecue sauce with the juices from the packages. And looking at it now, I should have just transferred them on the foil, but there was a bunch of juices and so I wanted to get as much as I could. So I'm going to move them to another cookie sheet so they can cool down and kind of firm up for me. So I've turned the oven up to 425 and I'm going to put the beans in and the cornbread and just kind of keep an eye on everything. I almost forgot the potatoes. I have added some garlic, a little bit of honey, and some brown sugar to this and I am going to just end up cooking this for I'd probably say I cooked it on a roiling boil for about 45 minutes and then it thickened up quite a bit. Unfortunately, I did not put up dinner so this did not get saved, but there wasn't a lot left. I ended up really covering these because we ended up to taking the ribs out to the barbecue to get the nice smoky flavor. We have some mesquite charcoal chunks and so we ended up putting them on a indirect heat and caramelizing the barbecue sauce on them. And so I didn't end up with a lot of barbecue sauce left. So I will insert a clip of what everything looked like at the end. I forgot to take pictures or film it from here. Mom ended up coming over and the house ended up getting filled up with people really quick. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining us again and I'll see you tomorrow. Love you.